It was really our great pleasure to contribute recently for the recertification of myeloma by showing the value of circulating tumor cells. I think that uh, uh, as scientists working in the laboratory, clinical laboratories, we were in depth with the myeloma community because uh, we, we hadn't figured out yet how to provide prognostic biomarkers based on direct assessment of tumor burden. You know that tumor burden in the marrow by morphology is a critical component for the differential diagnosis of the different stages of the disease, but it's not itself a strong prognostic factor. And there might be a lot of limitations, patchy bone marrow involvement, uh, uh, poor quality sample, extra medullary disease, which is less frequent in newly diagnosed, but more frequent at later stages. And I believe that instead of looking into the marrow, we look at tumor burden in blood through the assessment of circulating tumor cells with the same assay, NGF, that we have been using for almost one decade for MRD assessment. So it's not over complicating, it's just the same assay for a different purpose. We are showing that it's much more valuable. It can, the number of circulating tumor cells or CTCs can probably be a surrogate of tumor burden, disease dissemination in real time, proliferation, niche occupancy, and this might be the reason why it is such a powerful prognostic factor. And not only that, it's a prognostic factor that it's easy to measure its blood with methods that are already available in clinical laboratories and highly reproducible as five independent studies show it in the year 2022 in the Journal of Clinical Oncology. And I think that once these requirements are met, strong prognostic value, easy to measure, high reproducibility, then we have found a biomarker that has the potential to be included in the routine staging of patients with newly diagnosed active myeloma.